May God give us smart bosses. May God give us smart Christians. May God give us smart pastors. Because there are some presidents and some ministers in the house. When they are here, the church grows. And there are some ministers, when they come, people leave. It takes the pastor to have the fourth sense to be able to recognize them. May God help us in Jesus' name. The power of God's presence. Something followed Laban. Into, something followed Jacob into Laban's house. You remember in Genesis 3, 27 we read. He said he learned by experience that God has blessed Laban's house because of who? Jacob. About 35 years later, whatsoever was following Jacob also followed his son, Joseph. How many years? 35 years. His son in another foreign land. So what was following them was not just in Nigeria. Was not just in South Africa. Was not just in the U.S. They relocated to Canada. And that thing that was following Jacob followed them along. It has no geographical boundaries. Praise the Lord. That presence has become a generational legacy. You remember we read in Genesis 39, it says, And the Lord was with Joseph. He was a prosperous man. What is prosperity anyways? If the car you drive doesn't belong to you, the food you eat doesn't belong to you, the shoe you wear doesn't belong to you, the cloth you have on doesn't belong to you. So what is the definition of prosperity? Amen. Prosperity has nothing to do with material things. Hallelujah. It's not the house you live. It's, it's the blessings of God inside of you that people recognize. There is a chip inside of you. That everywhere you go, you go to a place, door open. You start a business, the business prospers. You rent a house, the whole of the apartment complex is blessed. There is something that follows children of God everywhere. May you recognize it. In the name of Jesus. In his master saw that the Lord was with him and the Lord has made him to prosper in his hand. And it came to pass from time to time that he made him because of what he saw an overseer in his house. And that everything that was in his house pr prospered. The presence that followed him promoted him ahead of his years. How old was this boy? Seventeen. What did they call him? They say, and, and he was a prosperous boy. 17 year old. Called a man. Do you know in the olden days, in the time of slavery, no matter how old you are, your master called you a boy. It's true of us. This boy, 17, they call him a... May God promote you ahead of your years. May God promote you ahead of your country. May God promote you ahead of what is in your hand. In the name of Jesus. What followed Joseph was a noticeable presence. A presence that his master saw. Amen. He was not a believer. He was not born again. Spirit filled, tongue talking. But he saw something. Amen. A presence that was potent everywhere the seeds of that covenant family went. Maybe we could say Joseph carried a what? A micro what? That they just discovered in iPhone 14. <laughs> a microchip that anywhere he went, the presence of God, the favor of God followed him. I stand on this altar in the name that's above every other name. May the presence of God follow you. Everywhere you go this year. Yeah. Do you want the presence every hour? Every minute? Every second? Every microsecond. In the name of Jesus. It could be told the experience across generation. Consequently, when you read Genesis chapter 13 verse 14. It says, and the Lord said to Abraham, after Lot was separated from him, lift up your eyes from where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and from here, from there, I will bless you. Something followed Abraham. 
Something followed Isaac in Genesis 26, verse 2. Genesis 26, verse 2. He says, dwell in this land and I will be with you. Please don't forget the Deuteronomy we just read, though. He says, I will take you to the land. Taking you means I will bring you. I will be with you. The promises he gave to Abraham. He gave to Isaac. The same thing to Jacob. It becomes generational following of the almighty God. Praise the Lord. And in Genesis chapter 30 verse 21. Genesis 30 21. This is what he says. He says, and the Lord was with who? Joseph. Amen. In the household. You can read those verses. Something good, something powerful that could not be restricted by national or international borders. Something traceable from the great grandpa. May God, it, there are some blessings you begin to enjoy when you are a child of God that follows your children. Amen. Some pastors were invited to London. Nigerian pastors to come and minister at a conference. And there are some Americans or Canadians that were invited too. And you know a typical Nigeria, when they say there's a conference, three days dry fast. But the Americans that came, they eat breakfast, they eat lunch, they eat dinner. And typical as a man, we are going to minister at the same time. God, you see them eating you know. <laughs> But on the day of the ministration, after three days fast, the Nigerians went there and ministered powerfully. Nothing happened. The place was dry and silent. The Americans who were there, amen, they had been eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They came there, and all they did was raise up their hand. Amen, and they sang a song. Everybody started following the anointing. They say, God, you are biased. <laughs> this is not fair. We saw them eating three times a day. Three days. Now they just came and raised up their hand. And God says, I'm not afraid of your questions. Sit down. Your grandpa, what is his name? Ogunbi. What is the name of your dad? Ogunende. What is your name? <laughs> Then he said, look at the Americans. His great-grandpa has been a missionary in Africa. He, his dad is a pastor in San Antonio. Why won't it work for them? And that is why. I, I don't know whether you listen to the prayers. My brother prayed this morning. There are some people everywhere they go, door closed. And you don't know it's generational. Every generational cause that is following you by the anointing. I counsel it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Many people are not aware where I changed my last name from Fadele to Fadel. Fadel means the beloved. Fadele, if you know the history of my home, it is the fathers that named their children. My great grandmother is the one that gave the name Fadele because he was the head of the gods. They said he flocks demons. In the afternoon. And he told my great grandpa. You are not the one naming this child. I am naming him Fadele. Because I worship Ifa. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is the father that names the child. And you know what? He better obey. Otherwise he will pack up and go to heaven. When I trace that history. I see I am no longer Fadele. I am Fadel. And in the Hebrew word it means the beloved. Hallelujah. See me shining now. Praise <laughs> Amen. In the New Testament also, Apostle Paul similarly noticed something in Timothy. His protege, something spanning three generations. And do you know what he said to Timothy? He says, when I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, that was in your grandmother, that is in your mother, Eunice. It doesn't matter whether you are a man or a woman. As long as you follow the God, your seed is settled. Your seed is what? Where you start, where you stop is where your children are going to take off. It's not an accident that you are serving God. Though. It's not an accident that you are coming to, to God. Though. At times you have to fast seven days before answer came. They just have to say, Lord, I skip lunch. 
an answer will come. Because you already prayed for them. And that is what happened to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, and to Joseph. Amen. Amen. Let's move on. Praise the Lord. I hope God is teaching you something. Joseph master saw something. Something that made the servant a prosperous man. God made all. Not some. All. Remember we read in Genesis 39 verse 2. All that it was involved in all. If he's selling peanuts, peanut prosper. If he's mopping the floor, the floor prosper. That floor prosper. Everything that he does, he prosper. May that be your story. Yeah. He was on like the haters of his dad, Jacob. Amen. In Genesis 31, verse 41. Genesis 31, 41. He says, thus... I have been 20 years in your house. I served thee 14 years for your two daughters and six years for your cattle. And that has changed my wages 10 times. When you know that God is with somebody, what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Promote them. Take care of them. The wages went from 10 Canadian dollars an hour to nine. From nine to eight. From 8 to 5. From 8 to 1. After a while, it's ain't going to pay you anymore now. You bury my daughter. Amen. You see what? He, he, he has learned though that God has blessed him. But instead of taking advantage of it, what did he do? He sabotaged Jacob. Jacob had what he called the Midas touch. Whatever he touched, does what? Prospered. The opposite is also possible. Praise the Lord. The people that carry a strange presence who kill whatever they touch, put them over a farm, the crop dies. Make them president of a prospering nation, the nation dies. Let them into a ship of a calm sea, a storm breaks out. Give them a pulpit to just one person, it will take a decade for that church to recover. Marry them, you marry trouble. Raise up your hand. And say, my father, my father. Save me, O God. From cursed hands. Killers of dreams. In the name of Jesus. May I never associate. May I never partner. May they, they never be a part of me. In the name of Jesus. So it shall be. In the name of God the Father. So it shall be. In the name of God the Son. So it shall be. In the name of God, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. But please understand, though, a presence where? In prison. You remember we said the microchip is already in Joseph. Why would that microchip, if God will see him, take him to prison? Don't you wonder that sometimes? With reference to Joseph's false accusations and unfortunate imprisonment in Egypt, one might ask, help me read that underline. I just say underline. <laughs> Overdue. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Don't you ever wonder that? But please, let me carry you to the scriptures. Psalm 23, verse 4 and 5. It says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me. In the Why does God take verse 4 out? Why do I have to go through before I enter the table? Did you get my English? Why do I have to go through the valley of the shadow of death before I eat at the table that God has prepared for me? Why is it verse 5 ahead of verse 4? Praise the Lord. The answer is simple. Help me read the answer. Do you know God can use the devil's hand to promote you? 
<laughs> in the most severe situations, the most severe condition of employment, if God is with you there, he can use the grindstone of the devil to prepare you for your palace. Never, never, never count God out in your case. He takes me through the valley of the shadow of death. In this, he says, and I will fear no evil because your presence is with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Then you prepare a buffet. <laughs> How many of you are going to the Chinese buffet? Amen. Do you know the buffet God prepared? That Chinese buffet is only for you. Every kind of food you can eat. And it makes your enemies to stand still. And when you are pouring your drink, you are lying to run over. And God said, don't worry about it. Your enemies are the ones who are going to mop the floor. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this God is too much. This God is too much. He said, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup, your cup will run over in Jesus' name. The path to the table of the bounties that God shepherd prepared in the presence of the enemies. Sometimes, sometimes, pastures through the valley of the shadow of death. But because it's with you, you are going to your palace. You will end in your palace. In the name of Jesus. In 23, sir, 2023, that's why at the end of this message, we are going to read Psalm, 20, 20, Psalm 23. Because the year 2023, we are going to read it from the Passion Translation. Many of you have memorized the King James Version of Psalm 23. Amen. You can say it offhand. You are inside your car, you can read. We are going to read it in the Passion Translation. In 23, never, never, never step into your car. Never, never step into your day, your month, your week until you are able to guarantee his presence. IT department. His presence is the guarantee of a word. Let me read now. I don't know whether many of you read the open heavens this morning that our father in the Lord writes. He rode the donkey into Jerusalem, Luke chapter 19. And the donkey was thinking that all the flowers, <laughs> all the clothes was for him. But immediately Jesus came down from that donkey. Amen. <laughs> and he was going back home. Do you think people are clapping for him? What happened to the donkey? May you be the donkey that Jesus is riding every day. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. You know, the donkey went back to his colony. He said, you can't believe what happened to me today. <laughs> I'm a star. I, I don't longer belong to this donkey's colony. Man. Ah! If you see people, man. They were just shouting at me. They were just bowing down to me. They were just throwing flowers at me. They were just spreading. Wow! I'm a star. <laughs> but who made him a star? Jesus. If Jesus lives your life, you are finished. Raise up your hand and say, My father, my father, my father, my father. All, I all I need in 2023, in 2023. is your presence. your presence. That's what I desire, oh God. Because your presence will bring favor. Your presence will bring blessing. Your presence will be double portion. Your presence will bring anointing. Your presence will answer my prayers. My father, my father. I need your presence, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Inability to secure his presence makes every adventure. In any endeavor, marriage, career, journey, risky. And uncertain. When I enter the car, I pray. <laughs> when I leave my room, I pray. When I go to bed, I pray. When I come to church, I pray. Why am I praying? His presence. Because if he leaves, some people will have something left. I will have nothing left. I came from a village that is not even the map of Nigeria. Praise the Lord. But that city, that, that small town is near London. No? So don't, you know. The best city is from Ifewara. The second one is Wari. You know? 
<laughs> you, you don't know. I said the best city in Nigeria, don't, don't call it a village now. We don't have street lights, but it's still a city. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Amen. What are the exploits of God's presence? What does his presence bring for a man? Number one, his presence carries favor that makes for destination. Amen. Help, assistance, and success wherever a man finds himself. What does it bring now? May you be favored this year. Yeah. In the east, you'll be favored. Yeah. From the west, you'll be favored. Yeah. From the north, you'll be favored. Yeah. From the south, you'll be favored. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. When you get home, you can read those, uh, what do you call it, Bible passages. His presence carries his glory, which covers or protects against attacks, nakedness, shame, and corruption in life. You will never be put to shame, sir. Yeah. Where only a few people say amen. I say you'll never be put to shame. Amen. Quickly, the Lord just told me, turn your Bible to Joel chapter 2, verse 26. Joel chapter 2, verse 26. Leave the screen alone. Leave the screen alone. If you have a Bible, just turn to Joel 12, 2, 26. If you open it, put your finger there and say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Did you find the passage? Yes, sir. Or my accent. You know, you can't hear with my accent. Joel 2, 26. This is how I read it. I will eat in plenty. No, no, no. I'm reading this passage. James Fadel will eat in plenty. And I shall be satisfied. I will praise the name of the Lord my God. This God will do wonders in my life. And I shall never, ever be put to shame. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Number three. The presence of God generates boldness. Victory. Conquest. Dominion in the conflict of life. His presence makes you, his presence makes God to be in you, with you, and for you. Romans 8, 31, if God be for us, what's included in that who? Anything and everything. If God is with you, the enemy is in trouble. The absence of his presence makes a man vulnerable to demonic attacks and open the door to devastating defeat. You will never be defeated. His presence is a covering, an immunity, a defense against arrows and onslaughts of the enemy. Hallelujah. Number four, his presence is the generator of the miraculous. Ha! I don't know whether you read about Samson. He doesn't carry, he is not a man with his chest chiseled out like an Oshua nigger. Amen? With red locks. No, 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 no. But the presence of God that when the enemy bans him, he'll be laughing at them. He just lose it. When they close the gate of his city against Samson, when the presence of God will sit him, he say, ah, you miss road. He will carry the gate and everything up to the top of the mountain. You know what? Samson was in the chief command of signs and miracles and wonders. You can read those. No man, no demon could humiliate him. No man could harass him. No man could molest him. No man could mock him. No man could embarrass him. He was too dangerous to be dared. Amen? He was a dreaded creature. Miracles were at the tip of his fingers. When God was with him. Am I talking to somebody? Tell your neighbor, don't dare me. Oh. No, no, no. Say it to the other one. Say, I beg you. Oh. I carry something. Oh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah. His presence disarms liars in wait and evil pursuers. His presence turns a man's weakness into strength. Then the question is, sir, you have been talking about the presence of God, the microchip of God in us. Amen? That immediately you are born again. He put that chip in you. Praise the Lord. For as many as believed him, to them he gave you power. The power is the microchip. Amen? That uh, Apple just discovered. They are putting in the phone. But they said, if you have iPhone 1, iPhone 2, iPhone 6, iPhone 7, he in there. So you have to run and go and buy. <laughs> Man, the people of this world are smart. Amen. Why don't they have to make it a software? So that everybody that has, you just download it. No, no. How would they make profit now? <laughs> but when you are a child of God, automatically, the day you say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ, it says, here I come. Amen. Nobody can kill you. 
Because your life is hid in Christ and Christ in God. For anybody to kill you, they have to kill God. They have to take Jesus out of God. Kill Jesus. Then they can handle you. But it's too late. The enemy will fail. Amen. The question is, how do I secure the presence of the Almighty God? Number one, his presence is generated on the altar of holiness and who shall go to the hill of the Lord? Who shall ascend to his holy mountain? He that has what? Clean and clean hands meet, sir. The thing that doesn't concern you, but off. If you don't like my church, don't talk down my church. It's not my church, it's the church of the living God. Amen? Clean hands, pure heart. God is a thrice holy God. Amen? God is a thrice holy God. Isaiah 6 verse 3, it says, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Sin is an antidote to his presence. It was sin that drove his presence away from Samson. Which brought about weakness and utter defeat to Samson. May God keep you holy. Amen. May your hands be clean. Amen. May your, peer, your heart be clean. Amen. It was sin that drove his presence away from the children of Israel and made them keep victim before the enemy. May you never be a victim of the enemy in Jesus name. Amen. Do you know sir, when you read that Joshua chapter 7 they just destroyed, devastated Jericho. Amen. They were in the third, in the fifth heaven. They were braggadozing. Ah, the God we serve is powerful. And there was a small country called Ai. They say, you know what? Don't worry yourself. Don't worry yourself. Let's just send few people. One, two, three, four, five. Just go and annihilate Ai. And before you know it, they ran away from Ai. Ah! Joshua said, God, is this what you want to do? Mm. Go and check. There is sin in the camp. May God keep you pure. Amen. May God keep you holy. Amen. Amen. Until sin goes, signs will not follow. Miracle will not follow. Favor will not follow. You cannot say you have the presence of God and once your wife talks to you, just slap her, backhand her. The, the spirit has left already. Even as you raise up your hand, God is already left. Amen. I've been married now for 33 years and we are still on honeymoon. Amen. Amen. The secret is she's a daughter of Christ. I take care of her like I would take care of Christ. You didn't understand. Daddy Gio said, I am the Gio. My dog is the Gio. My servant is Gio. If I say, Pastor Tom, I just bought a dog. Help me take care of the dog. Listen now. And I left back to Dallas. And Pastor Tom refused to feed the dog. Beat the dog mercilessly. What's that telling him about my relationship with him? Help me out now. No value. That means the day you raise up your hand against your wife, you have no value for God. The day you abuse your wife is the day you are telling God, you mean nothing to me. Because this gift is nothing. Because he that finds a wife and obtains what? Look at your wife and just smile. And those of you who are not married, I pity you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Tell your husband, say, I'm a special gift to you. Am I a favor from God? Oh. <laughs> those of you who are not married, better go and find your husband quick. Oh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. There is a direct relationship between the presence of God and the power of God. If you are able to create a pure lifestyle, you can attract his presence and you can access his power. Number two now, his presence is secured on the altar of effectual fervent prayer. The tragedy of our day is not on answered prayers, it's on do you know there are some people with the prayer, they are at home, they are not doing anything, but they won't show up for the prayer conference. Amen. The man that we find God is the man who will do what? God is not found where, let me read that, let me read that number two. Hmm. He reveals himself to who? Because if he appears and you don't invite him, you can insult him. Praise the Lord. 
So it will not be found where he is not served. Your prayer and fasting of today will solve the problems of tomorrow. God can never, never, never be deaf to our tears. He must, but you must not expect what? I like your church. Yo. My brother that was praying, for how many minutes did he pray? There are some people, it's just two minutes prayer in church. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Ah, we, we, we have to sing. We, 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 we have to ask for money. But God is not found where he's not sought. You cannot expect a thousand dollar answer for a near saint prayer. Israel cried to God in their afflictions and God heard their cries and came down to their situation. Solomon went to Gibeon to pray and God answered. God will answer your prayers this year in the name of Jesus. What else do I, must I do to command his presence? Worship and praise the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all. At all. At all. And his praises shall my soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us do what? Exalt his name together. Number four, sacrifice at Gibeon. Amen. Do you know <laughs> Solomon knew that he was not smart? Amen. You know, the secret of God is, you know, Anna went before God. God was looking for a prophet. <laughs> Anna was looking for a son. Amen. <laughs> you know, God is smart. And the day he went to Shiloh, he said, oh God, just give me a son. It was specific. Give me a son and I will give him to you. God said, huh? You say what? You give it to me, accept your child. Amen. Gideon, what do you call it? Solomon went to Gibeon. He said, God, it's your people. All I need is wisdom to be able to direct their affairs so that we not go astray, so that they can follow you. God says, you've asked for a smart thing. Praise the Lord. He said, even that which you did not ask for, I give it to you. Because you came today by the anointing on the altar, by the fire on this altar, in the name that's above every other name, things that you have not asked for, may the God of the redeemed Christian church of God give it to you in the name of Jesus. May he give it to you in the name of Jesus. You will not fail. You will not fall. You will not turn back. Express answers for you in 2023 in the name of Jesus. That which you have been trusting God for. That which you have desired. God will, manif will bring it and deliver it to your hand in the name of Jesus. What you have been pursuing begin to pursue you. What you have been looking for, begin to look for you. What you have been desiring, begin to desire you. In 2023, in the name of Jesus. What is the condition in the church? We must do what? Fear him and when we are talking about serving him, it includes when we say sacrifice now, is the time for the offering. <laughs> when you say offering time, people make excuses to go to the bathroom. You are cheating yourself. Do you know what God, God does? God gives you an orange. Amen? He's looking at what you are going to do with that orange. Even he helps you to split it. Amen? If you are smart. Amen? Out of the oranges, you say, God, out of these hundred oranges, I give you one. And do you know what God will do? I don't eat orange in heaven. God will split the orange and take the seed of that orange. Put it in your packing, in your lot. You can count the number of seed in an orange, but you cannot count the number of oranges in a seed. Did, did you get that? Let me interpret that to your neighbor. Let me interpret that to your neighbor. Tell them. Say, so you can do what? The number of seed in an orange, but you cannot count the number of oranges. So, what do you want? Seed or orange? You are too smart, you know. <laughs> the way you are looking at me, man. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So when you give God your tithe and your offering, God is saying, okay, no problem. You have given me an orange. What I'm going to do is I will take the seed and sow it back to your Lord. Amen. Amen. My children go to school, scholarships. I came from Nigeria 
while I gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ in 1974. Praise the, And then they taught me, pay your tithe and make 1,000 naira. Not 1,000. Who make 1,000 then? If I make 100 naira, I give God 10. I came to America on scholarship, fully paid. Praise. I studied from, uh, what do you call it? From first degree to my PhD. I didn't pay one penny. The question is, who benefited? <laughs> no, be careful, be careful now. I was earning Naira. And I give God a Naira. How did God repay? Dollar. Which one is higher? Dollar. I won't ask what the exchange rate is now. <laughs> Praise. Sir, when you give to God, you are the one who is going to win. Without you, cornerstone will prosper. Without your money, God will finance his church. The money he gave you is just a test. Will you pass the test? May make God make you to pass this test. Amen. We are therefore provoking and creating his presence to follow us and his coming month, committing ourselves in his life, the purity and the holy living this year and beyond. By our heart, cry to God is prevailing and effectual praying. Let's quickly move on. And what happened when his presence departs? You remember I talk about Samson. Victories were cheap. Enemies bow. He was a one-man ruling army. The only man in the whole of Israel. When the enemy comes, they hear of Samson. They run. But the day, a woman, not his wife, oh, came to tell where is your strength? Uh, my strength is if they tie me. If you don't want to eat out of the devil's food, stay out of his kitchen. That's advanced English. <laughs> Only grandmas, you understand that. If you tie me with a soft cord, I will be loose. And the woman went and tied him. Aren't you supposed to come come and say, this woman wants to kill me? He says, you know what? If you bind me, then I will lose my soul. He went and bind him. And they say he pressed him. And he slept on Delilah's lap. And she was so vexed. And Samson he said, well, if you can just take off the beast on my head. Can I quickly digress? As husband and wife, husband, have your own time of prayer with God. Woman, have your own prayer with God. Together, you come together to pray. Amen. Amen. I hope I'm not teaching heresy. Praise the Lord. Pastor Tam, you agree with me? Your own private time, let God download to you. Take her to Nordstrom. Give her your credit card. It's yes, how? Because God is, <laughs> I'm on your side this morning. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And she talks to her, honey, when he comes home, my mind with seven lives. <laughs> your love right. Everything made. And when you are giving it, kneel down and give to him and say, my Lord. Say, hey, my Lord. Huh? Go and give it to me. Because a hungry man, I didn't say that to you. I don't. <laughs> You know, God's word is so perfect. Give man his pace. Give man his regard. Make him the head of your home. Your head. Everything will work out in your life. But you look at your husband and say, how much are you earning? This is my own credit card too. Huh? You finished. God's word is balanced. So, the day the presence of God left Samson, he began to grind for the enemies. Ah, let me hold your neighbor's hand. Say, by the anointing, by the anointing, I pray for you. What you have been fearing in the name of Jesus, it will not come over your life. People that have been serving you, may you never serve them. Things that have been bowed down to you, may you never bow down to them. In the name of Jesus, may you never Grind meals for the enemy in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. 
Let me read that Judges chapter 16, 20 to 22. Read it for me. Do you know, they say they did what took out his eyes. How many of you are nurses or doctors in the house? When you are trying to perform an operation, what, don't you do anesthetic? Why? But for Samson, they put a rod inside fire. 1,000 degrees, and they look at him. Boom! Not just one eye, two eyes. May God never leave you. The marriages you enjoy is because of God. Oh. The job you enjoy is because of God. Oh. Many of you are looking, it's because of God. Oh. May God never leave you. Yeah. There the Jews said in the open heavens today, say, Professor, all he's just to do is God tweaking just, tweak, just one minute item. You are finished. May his presence never leave you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In conclusion, Help me read it. Read this one more time. Who is speaking here? Who is he talking to? He's talking to his sons and his daughters. If you are not a son of God. You remember when Adam sinned in the Garden of Eden? The presence of God left. His assignment was to do what? To do what? Tend the garden. You know what tend means? Amen. You are in a palace with your green tea. Amen. You're Kool Aid in your hand and you take a scissors. There is none. Holy as. In pleasure doing the work. But immediately the presence of God left. He began to till. There's a presence between what? Tilling and... I don't know whether you have seen some people back home that dug wells. Please shake their hand. Look at their hand. Blisters. Calluses in their hand. That's what Adam experienced when God left. May that not be your story. The only thing that can guarantee his presence is that if you are a child of the living God. If you are in the house this morning, I don't know whether somebody invited you or you invited yourself or you look at our beautiful church. You have been sitting there in summer enjoying the veranda. If you don't know what veranda is, talk to Pastor Town. Amen. <laughs> you have been enjoying it. You just decided, I want to come to church and see what they are doing. Amen. You are welcome. You are the right place at the right time. All God's do is, he say, I knock at the door of your heart. If any man opens, I will do what? I will open and he will sob with me and I with him. Jesus wants to come into your life. He wants to bless you. He wants to increase you. You know, there is something, I, let me turn your Bible again to Acts chapter 3 verse 26. I'm almost finishing. I'm almost finishing. Praise the Lord. Acts chapter. It says unto you first. Acts chapter 3. 26. It's not on the screen. Acts is in the New Testament. You can ask when we say what page number. What page number is this in your Bible? Acts chapter 3. 26. Can we read it together? Wait, 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 wait. Why did God send Jesus? To do what? To, to do what? To but there is a condition in that verse that you turning away every word. There is a blessing in the hands of God. And it says, I want to give it to you. Jesus is God's errand boy to give you your blessing. He's the day's man. They call him the day's man. He's the bridge between you and God. But for you to call from your side to God's side, you must accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Anybody in the house this morning who wants to say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. There's no need for you to be ashamed. You are crossing from poverty to prosperity. 
You are crossing from uncertainty to uncertainty. You are crossing from disfavor to favor. If you want to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ this morning, can I see you wave your hand? Can I see you wave your hand? God bless you, my daughter. God bless you. God bless you. Anybody else in the house? Anybody else in the house? Put your hand on that, your chest. Put your hand on your chest and say, Master Jesus, Master Jesus, I know that God has sent you to bless me. Today, I surrender my life to you. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Write my name in the book of life. In the name of Jesus. Transform me from the inside out. Make me your son. Make me your daughter. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus. And I believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. By my belief and my confession, I am saved. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Shall we all rise this morning in the name of Jesus? You can go take that prayer point in any direction, any way you want. Begin to thank God for your life. Begin to thank him for everything that he has done for you. It's not everybody that saw 2020 20, that saw 2023. 20, it's not everybody that saw 2023 20, that is still alive to you today. Lord, I thank you for what you have done. This is my week. This is my month. This is my day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are delivering my eyes from tears. You are delivering my feet from falling. I bless you, oh God. I bless you, oh God. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him that this is my year of favor. This is my year of help. This is my year of assistance. This is my year of racing in the name of Jesus. Thank him, thank him that downfall will not be your part. Disgrace will not be your part. Disappointment will not be your path in the name of Jesus. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon your soul, upon your spirit in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus on my soul, on my spirit, on my body in the name of Jesus. And say, My Father, my Father, on this altar, thou spirit of error in the name of Jesus that makes a man to fall into temptation to fall into carelessness to fall into discipline to push away man from God in the name of Jesus be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus spirit of error spirit of indiscipline what are you waiting for you are not part of me pack your bag pack your load leave me alone I belong to Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus spirit of indiscipline spirit of temptation spirit of carelessness I reject you in the name of Jesus the grace to live a holy life the grace for purity to be committed to the things of God like Enoch, like Joseph like the Lord Jesus Christ I receive oh God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let the overshadowing presence of the Lord follow me everywhere I go in the name of Jesus, 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 glorify yourself, O oh God, magnify yourself, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hold your neighbor's hand, hold your neighbor's hand. Say, I pray for you. Spirit of error, spirit that makes a man to fall in temptation spirit of carelessness spirit of indiscipline i rebuke out of your life by fire in the name of jesus 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 you will live holy you will live pure you will live a disciplined life you will follow god you will obey god the presence of god shall be with you in the name of god the father in the name of god the son in the name of god the holy spirit so it shall be in the name of god the father god the son god the holy spirit in jesus mighty name we have prayed in jesus mighty name we have prayed you may be seated as I've said, before I step down and prophesy over your life, you know, many of us are so familiar with God. Amen? Psalm 20, if I ask anybody in the house, recite Psalm 23. You don't have to open your Bible. You know, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down. Amen? But we want together, I want to read it from the Passion Translation Bible. 
Amen. It, it just put a new flavor. Amen. A new dynamics into that Psalm 23. Can you help me read Psalm 23 verse 1 in the Passion Translation Bible? Verse 1. I will always have. You know your father owns the castle on a thousand hills. Amen. Silver and gold belongs to him. He said, if I were hungry, I won't ask you. Praise the Lord. Verse 2. Wow. Verse 3. So you can do what? Three, four, to do what? Three, four, three, Verse 4 now. Verse what now? Five. Read verse five. Who? And together, verse six now. It's pursuing you. It's pursuing you. I say it's pursuing you. I said something good is pursuing you. Something wonderful is pursuing you. Something glorious is pursuing you. In the name of Jesus, the lifter up of heads will lift up your head. In the name of Jesus. Stand up, stand up, stand up as I prophesy over your life in the name of Jesus. What you have gathered this year will never be scattered. What you have labored for shall never be destroyed. Your blessing shall be in double portion, double joy, double favor, double promotion, twins and triplets in the name of Jesus, boys and girls in the name of Jesus. The Almighty God will elevate you to a place where the devil cannot molest you in the name of Jesus. Every plan, every collision of the enemy over your life, they shall not succeed in the name of Jesus. Your land will yield an increase in the name of Jesus. There shall be showers of blessing in the name of Jesus. In every areas of your life, you shall be victorious in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will sing your own song. You will dance your own dance. You will raise your own chorus in the name of Jesus. The oil of favor, the oil of favor. The oil of favor, the oil of favor. I say the oil of favor is released over your life. In the name of Jesus, you will finish well. You will finish strong. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Before I step down, as I was praying this morning, the Lord said I should just shake hands with few people. If you are living in an apartment now and you want a house this year, he says, I should just shake your hand and say, congratulations. You are working for somebody this year and you want to start your own business. Oh God, has, I've been just obeying God. I don't have the power to bring it to pass. But God says, all he asks me to do is shake your hand and say, congratulations. So, if you have your own house, but the house is too small, <laughs> and you want a bigger one, you remember it spread in a Chinese buffet. There are some food there you don't even eat. But God says, I'm spreading a buffet before you. But the condition is, number one, as the choir minister to the Lord, quickly, I don't know whether there are five of you, three of you, I just want to shake your hands, and all I'm going to say is congratulations. Because every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain shall be brought low. And every crooked place shall be made straight. In the name of God, the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit.